Hey guys, it's Legomatic9, and today I'm going to be doing the highly requested tutorial on how to make e-tape jackets for your custom LEGO minifigures. Now, back a few years ago, I made a major style change when making my figures, in which I started to include more 3D elements like cloth jackets and sculpts. But I quickly realized that cloth didn't give the right look for every minifigure that I was hoping it would give. That mainly came around when I tried to make Negan from The Walking Dead. I tried to use a cloth jacket for a leather jacket that he was wearing and it just did not look right. So I found out that E-Tape gives the perfect look for smooth jackets that are made out of leather or nylon or material like that. So today I'm gonna to be giving you guys a look more so at the technique on how to make E-Tape jackets rather than a precise procedure. It's not gonna be like a precise procedure on how to do it because I imagine most of you guys aren't gonna to wanna to make a bomber jacket, which is what I'll be making. Most of you guys are gonna to wanna to be making other jackets like Star-Lord, like Kira, like Negan, anybody like that. Uh, so today I'll just be showing you guys what I'll be doing and like the techniques that I use when making an e-tape jacket. So let's go ahead and jump into the materials that you'll need to make this. So the materials you'll need are kind of subjective to what type of jacket you'll be making, but here's kind of just the basics. You'll need a sheet of computer paper or just a, some scrap or whatever. You'll need e-tape. Now I don't know where my black e-tape went, so I'm just going to be using white. doesn't really matter honestly because I'll be painting over it. I'm just going to use some sort of dummy torso, uh, so you'll need that for the jacket or you can just put on the minifigure you're making, doesn't really matter. I'm using these really small scissors. I honestly don't know where you can get these at. Um, they're just like really small. These ones are really curved, which really helps when cutting circles and stuff like that. So really small scissors. I'm sure you can get those at some sort of hobby store. Um, you'll need some sort of paint. Again, I don't know what kind of jacket you guys will be making. I'm just gonna be using this blue color. Might bring in some other ones later, like a black or so, I don't know. Uh, super glue, not sure if I'm gonna be using this or not. Uh, we'll see, that's just for sealing up the edges of the jacket so the e-tape doesn't slide off over time. Then this guy is going to be really helpful. I don't know if anybody has this type of tool, uh, but this is just a very sharp, pointy thing that is really good for just punching holes in things. So if you guys have something like this, it'd be really useful. So let's go ahead and just start this tutorial off. So if you guys watched my Han Solo belt tutorial, this will be kind of familiar. You just want to take uh, strip of your e-tape and just put it right onto your paper here So you just want to make sure it's nice and flat. There's no air bubbles or anything like that. Just get that guy on there Now after you got that on there, you want to cut it out of here Now just make sure to cut right along the edge there So there's no paper still left. So now you should have something like this Go ahead and rip the arms off of your dummy torso or whatever you'll be using and What you got to do first is you got to kind of just wrap this guy around here uh, I usually start pretty high, so you're going to have a lot of excess e-tape on this right here. So you can start to shorten it down if you'd like to start cutting off the edges. But you want to start wrapping it around here and kind of like creasing it around the edges here so you're starting to crease the actual e-tape, so it's starting to form to the torso. As you're creasing this thing up, you want to make sure you get this thing as tight as possible. Just because it'll look goofy if this thing is just really loose on the minifigure torso, so just try to make sure you get your creases nice. Uh, and crisp and make sure this thing is as tight as you can get it. So now we want to take this tool and just puncture a hole right in the side there where the arm socket is and then you'll use these little scissors if you have them to cut out a hole right here. So that's close enough to a circle right? Alright so let's go ahead and just take one of these arms and plug it on in there just so you can get the jacket secure on one side. So now it gives you the option to go ahead and just stab that other side and get that hole I'll cut out. So I've got this jacket on here and it actually doesn't look too bad so far. Got that thing nice and tight on there, so that is pretty good. Now, the next part is just shaping the e-tape up and this is all on you guys here. I don't know what kind of jackets you'll be making, but since I'm making this bomber jacket, I'm gonna make it open. So if you guys are looking to make it closed, you wanna make sure that this side of the strip or whatever side that's actually over it is longer and just shape that up. So like Negan here, as you can see, his is closed. Uh, so one side's longer and it's just glued uh, on the other end there. Um, so with this one, mine's going to be open so I don't have any of that overlap. So I'm going to be cutting uh, just these sides down. I'm going to be cutting that collar area off there just because I don't need it up that high. I'm going to make it in line with the torso. But again, some of you guys might want to make that, you know, up there like that. I don't know if the jackets you're making have collars like that. So that's all up to you guys. And you'll have to shape up down here to make that even with the end of the torso and the belt. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, shape this guy up. 
So here I got mine all cut out. As you can see, I cut off that top part, I shaped up the bottom, and I cut out the middle here so it's a nice open jacket. Now, as you can see, I did cut out uh, part of the collar here and then along the waist here, and that's because the jacket I'm gonna be making has like an elastic band of running around like the waist area and then that kind of like wraps around the, uh, the neck. So I'm gonna be using cloth uh, for that because it looks like it would be made out of cloth. It's got that texture. So I'm gonna be cutting up some strips of cloth to uh, wrap around the waist here and then to uh, to glue right in these areas right here So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and you guys can do whatever modifications you guys need to do to yours uh, While I'm doing that so uh, let's go ahead and just see how that looks So by the way the cloth I'm gonna be using is just cut up cloth from Cape Madness I'm just using just bits that I have in my scrap pile while I'm doing this I'm also kind of sealing the edges of this thing because e-tape likes to shift over time uh, so what I'm doing is I'm just putting a little bit of super glue along the edges just to make sure that the paper and the e-tape are glued together. So this is what I got right now. As you can see, I've got that cloth wrapped around the waist and I've got it up on the collar here. And what my plan is here is I'm going to cut these guys up a little more so they can fold over, uh, fold over the collar there like that. Um, so I want to make sure they don't run into the neck piece and that there's enough room for a head to actually fit on here. I'm going to go ahead and cut those guys up, and my plan is to glue those onto the back here on the inside, though, so they kind of just tuck down in there. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do off camera right now. I just popped a random head on here just to keep that cloth on the top pretty much flat. But as you can see, I got that stuff glued on there. So now what I'm going to do is uh, my jacket in particular has some pockets. Uh, some flaps for the pockets on the sides there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take just regular e-tape I'm not going to put it on paper or anything I'm going to try to cut it out of e-tape and then uh, just stick it right onto the jacket there So we'll see how that goes uh, So if you guys have any pockets or anything to do go ahead and make those now So I got those pockets added on there and I also added a little zipper right there as you can see the little guy right there uh, So now I think I'm all good with adding 3d elements to this thing so I'm gonna go ahead and paint this guy up uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use uh, Apple Barrel English Navy and I coat this thing with it. Uh, then I'm going to paint the zipper, paint the buttons and everything. So again, I'm not going to show you guys exactly what I'm doing just because you guys probably aren't making the same exact jacket as me. But uh, yeah, you guys can go ahead and paint your guys up and uh, let's see how it looks. Now I know this is a lot different from what you guys just saw, but this is the jacket fully finished. I figured I wouldn't have to stop and tell you guys what exactly I was painting and all of the different colors I was using, just because you guys probably aren't making the same exact jacket as me. So here's just a final look at what the jacket turned out to be, and I'm actually pretty pleased with it. There's one complaint I have about it, and that's just up here. This corner doesn't lay as flat as I wish it did, and it kind of makes this side of the jacket bend out a little more. Now, normally I would glue it to the torso to keep it flat, but I don't want to glue anything on that torso because that just took me too long to paint that. So you guys can kind of make out what that says on the shirt, but I'm really pleased with how everything else turned out mainly. Um, I painted up some arms and everything already for them so I can just have this finished and ready to go. But yeah, that's just a look at the jacket all painted up. And uh, yeah, I just really like that color. Compared to my old Sig Fig, here's the old body and legs and uh, the old jacket I used. And I really like this version a lot more. It just looks a lot more slick than, than this one. This one just looks kind of rough, just with the jacket mainly. Dylan, the Moose Figs did a great job painting that ELO uh, torso. Uh, but other than that, like the Sig Fig needed an update. So... Uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys are following along with this, I guess, this tutorial, show me what you guys are making. You guys can tag me on Instagram or on Twitter or something like that. Just show me what kind of jackets you're making and let me know down in the comments if this tutorial helped you guys out a lot. Other than that, I do have a few minifigures up for sale on my Instagram if any of you guys are interested in that. I'm selling my Battlefield 4 figures, my Ant-Man, a Negan I have, and then a few Mandalorians. So if you guys are interested, go follow me on Instagram, check out my post, one of my most recent posts. I got all the prices and everything listed on there. Go ahead and shoot me a DM if you guys are interested. I'm mainly keeping it just to Instagram just because it's easy to talk to people on there and not through the YouTube comment section or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, if you guys are interested, please shoot me a DM and I'll be sure to work something out with you. Other than that, if you guys haven't followed me on my other social media accounts, I'll be linked to in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you felt this tutorial was helpful and if you guys have any other ideas for other tutorials you'd like to see me make, let me know. And I'll see you guys later.